together, but this engagement is on hold and you're living apart because of allegations of cheating. Is that right, Ms. Akins? Yes. Okay. You've opened this case today. Again? Tell us what's at stake here right now. Well, we've been together for a little over a year and, um, you know, we just had a new baby and we got engaged recently and um, I feel like, you know, everything that we worked so hard to build, he's compromising because I feel like he's cheating. So if I find out today that he's cheating, me and his daughter, we're gone. I don't trust this guapo looking ass, bro. I don't know about this nigga, bro. I ain't trusting gang, bro. I ain't trusting gang, bro. That's gonna be the end of the relationship. The end of it. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Bailey? Yes, Your Honor. It's on the line today. <laughs> Everything, the future of your relationship. That's the reason why I'm here, though, honestly, because I wanted to show her that, you know, like, I want my family. Like, I love her. I'm in love with her. My beautiful daughter, that's my queen. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really do love her, and I'm here to tell the truth. I don't see her buying any of what you just sold. She's, the look <laughs> on her face is like, whatever, man. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> you are not, you've heard this before? Many times. <laughs> and you're just like, not enough. No. This is not gonna cut it. His words don't mean anything to me anymore. Ooh. Tell me about these multiple times in the past that he's had to come back and say, I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry, baby. It was, I didn't mean it, baby. What was that? What uh, happened? Okay, so we originally met in the ninth grade. We became real, real, real close friends. Okay. And um, tenth grade Trump year, you know, I noticed he disappeared, and I didn't hear from him again. Trump in 2015, we reconnected again, and so you know, this time we vowed like we're not gonna lose touch. You know, we're gonna keep in contact. So I'm going to see him every day, every day, every day, and then um, I find out from a friend that the house that I'm taking him, dropping him off to, is not a family member's house, but it's his girlfriend's house. <laughs> And so I'm like, are you serious? So I'm mad, I'm livid, I'm upset. You he know? was young, bro. He was young, bro. He was young, bro. Who that in the back? Who, this lady? You thirsty for these? Who the sub alerts? I know you ain't fiending. I know you ain't fiending for my shorty right here. What a chat. I just know you. <laughs> It can't be guap. It can't be. <laughs> All right, my bad. Let's go back. No, so I was just like, nah, I'm through. I can't I do it. He's begging out. me, you know, stay, stay, please, stay, don't go. And I'm like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm through. I'm, I'm just done. Down, but at some point, you all did reconnect, and you have this. Uh, you've gotten back together. You have a child and an engagement. Yeah. And you're saying all of that's on the line. Yes, ma'am. If he's back to what he's done in the past. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Bailey. You admit that you made some mistakes in the past. Yes, more definitely. Do, do you feel badly about those mistakes? Of course, like, pertaining to the situation about the 2015 situation, um... I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all get back on who? Listen, my a liar, bro. My a liar. All of them they be trying to use them big-ass words and shit. Even though pertaining is not a crazy big word, all right? Don't think we some small vocabulary but when you be in this situation, you be knowing when it be lying. I'm completely perplexed right now. Like, I just don't understand. I just don't get why they would think that I'll be in this predicament. Like, shut the f up. This is lying, bro. But this our prospect. Hopefully, he can get us a bucket, bro. Thanks. Of course, like, pertaining to the situation about the 2015 situation, um, yeah. she wasn't my lady. We was, oh. I was, I was, I was, hey. Okay, right. well, Ooh, in life. for the record, today, mm -hmm. she is your lady, right? Yes. Because you all engaged. He missed yes. Okay, so the whole thing about, well, she was my lady, she was my lady, we don't have to worry about that today okay. in this proceeding because she is your lady, right? That's, that's my queen, like, man. I love her dearly. I'm in love with her, like... But the problem, yeah. but the problem is she thinks that you're, even though you all are engaged and she's your champ and she's your queen, He's cheating. Yes, ma'am. That's your concern. Yes, ma'am. What is it that makes you believe that something has occurred? Okay, well, he has this new homegirl. And, uh, you know, recently I asked him, I said, you know, is there anything that you need to tell me? You know, is there any, are, are you cheating? Is there, is there anybody? Is, what's going on? 
So, you know, he'd tell me, you know, well, I ain't cheating on you, but but there's this girl that, you know, I've been hanging out with and stuff, and, you know, my bro, he got this girlfriend, and, you know, when we all chilling at her house, her friend come over, and we all just chilling. I'm like, okay, so two girls, two guys. Right. Sound like y'all double dating to me. So oh, they running the two, man. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> they running the two, man. <laughs> I'm so sorry, bro. Oh man, bro. Y'all hey, gotta forgive me if I don't trust this prospect like that, bro. I gave my all that last game. You sold me, bro. I'm trying, bro. But this stop, bro. So right, I'm like, right. what's going on? I know it too, so man, when I hear one, bro. I find the girl's profile through his bro's Facebook page. And so I'm on the phone with him. I'm like, you know, well, I'm about to call this girl and see what's going on. Then he hit me with the, oh, I got to call you right back. You know, my phone about to go dead. Every time he over there, you know, my phone about to go dead. I got to hit you back. I'm just like, you know, uh, -uh. It's, it's too much. It's fishy. No, 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 no. And no, all no, of this no, happens no, no, when he's no, over no, at no, no, where this no. homegirl is. Yes. You got to watch out for the homegirl. Yeah, the homegirl no, will get you out. See, see yeah. that's what I'm saying, though. Like, one day, like, she she had called me. She was like, oh. She who? She who? Jazz she called me. She okay, was Miss Akins um, called you. Okay. She she called me. She like, man, only time you can talk to me, you can't fake time. So I grabbed the phone. You know what I'm saying? So I went to walking through the house and everything. Like, but I ain't got nothing to hide to you. Like, yo, like we healed. You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> like, I know, I mean, honestly, it do look bad. Cause she know my bros, but they dirty. But he walked from the bathroom you know to outside. So, uh, I did a lot of her in the past and told her truths and things of that nature. I can admit that. Honestly, I see. Why she be doing that? Because, you know, back in the days, I wore, you, you know, uh. Mr. Baylor. <laughs> Bro, what the f are you laughing at back then? Put me on the outside. Who the f drafted this nigga? This is ass. This is ass, bro. Mr. Okay. Baylor, wait a minute, hold up. Why is it that your lady, your queen, your champ, why is she ever with you, with your homegirl and all these folks? Why haven't you made that introduction? <laughs> Guapo, hold on. Peep, Guapo, she trying to get you. Look. Hey, Guapo, she trying to get you. <laughs> you seen that move? What? Why? Why is this mother sound so loud? Turn this down. The quality is ass. W wingman, your L wingman is crazy. Come on. And here's the thing. We'll come back to that question. Hold on. Okay. Because here's the thing. Who you hang with is who you become. <laughs> hey. So no cap. I used to think that that shit wasn't really that true, boy. If you think that I would ever try to talk to another girl that all her friends is some hoes, you're f crazy. It ain't them niggas that act hard. That's the wrong sound, whatever. Boy, I will never do that shit again, bro. So let me tell you what they do. Her friends not sh Her friends not sh They, whenever she need advice, guess who the f she going to? Her f friends. She going to her Friends, bro, Cap, no, not Cap. I'm telling you, bro. And her friends is gonna be telling her to do a bunch of hoes, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I'm keeping it a hundred with you, bro. They gonna be telling you do a bunch of hoes. They ain't never had a good ever, but they telling you how how you just such a wrong. She ain't never had better than me, girl. Fuck him, girl. You can do whatever you want. All right. Don't want, you don't gotta believe me. I'm just keeping it. I'm just saying, me personally, I wouldn't even. This again. Nah, you good. I'm good on you. Well, all of them are running game. You may not be running game yet, but you will. But you will. So I'm gonna go back to my original question. Why is it that you haven't made an introduction from your with your queen to your homegirl? Oh. <laughs> Honestly, the reason why she, you know, you know what? Been... Every time somebody starts with the word. Honestly. No, it's not. She lives, she hey, lives in it. She, we, I swear I, to God, we've been watching Couples Court for two years now. Well, probably, oh yeah, two years now. I've never heard that say a word, bro. I've never heard that say a word, bro. We 
False, bro. Who the fuck, nigga? I, I thought you was, I thought nigga was a wax fucking statue. We fucking lost, bro. This nigga just talked. I be in Columbia, she be in Atlanta, you know, and she, we, you know, we, we travel back and forth to see each other, things of that nature. That's why she don't, um, really be around like that. She never met her, but for the while doing thing together, I, man, we always chilling, making, like, we, I don't have Well, you problem. can't always be chilling if you're hanging out with your homeboys and you know, hanging out girls. with their homegirls and all that. Here's, and it's okay to have friends, you know? Now, I've got friends. Mm -hmm. I've got a homegirl. I've got somebody I hang out with all the time. Her name is Dana. Oh, I was about to say, nah, Mr. Color, you, you about to get in trouble in this bitch. You about to get in trouble. And Judge oh, Dana. I was about to get in trouble. <laughs> you know what? I was like, I was about to be a little bit tight, Yo, Judge. Yo, sick! Appreciate you for the goddamn big five fucking gift this son, bro. I appreciate it, my dog, man. Tell y'all niggas been showing stupid love this thing with the fucking subs. Bro. Holds up, three pointers. Bro, I appreciate you, bro. Thank you, my dude. Shit, lame. What you talking about, bro? I was about to go. <laughs> no, no. So, yeah, because you got someone there who can be all those things for you. She really, she, and she is, like, because I be on the phone with her all day. Like, we would talk from, like, I wake up with, like, 10.30 in the morning. Let me And I'd be like, that. yo! And we'll just stay on the phone, stay on the phone, stay on the phone. We sit I, I, on the phone, but we don't be talking. Even though we don't talk, no. like, we don't be having commun- we don't be communicating while we be on the phone, I just love hearing her breathe. Like, it, like yeah, I really do. Like, I'm I'm like, See, look, look at She's blushing. Look yeah. at him. Yeah. Saying, he just like, that, like... Bro, if you got a nigga that'll hold the phone with you, he really like you, bro. He really like you. Nigga ain't holding the phone with a girl he don't really like like that. Or oh, Lisa, I ain't gonna lie. Lisa, normal nigga. If I don't really like you, I'm trying to get off this phone. Why are we holding the phone and you ain't got shit to talk about, bro? But the thing is, the right one called me. Shit, ain't no cap. Had a time, I ain't even, I ain't even got the phone, uh... I ain't even looking at the phone. That bitch just up, and every now and then I'm be like, every now and then I'm playing the game. What you doing? Oh, all right. Real shit. Hey, he just likes hearing you that. breathe. I just like <laughs> that's love right there. I'm trusting you know, this it, that was almost sweet. No. But here's the thing: that was almost sweet. Was just like almost hearing sweet. her breathe. Uh huh. Let me almost. hear you breathe. <laughs> yeah, let me hear you breathe. <laughs> oh. Hey. That's all you yeah. gonna get from yeah. now, Mr. Cole. <laughs> I, I like that. Uh-huh, whatever, man. Why are you making me blush up here? Why you do that? Uh -huh. She was blushing. I, I, I ain't gonna lie. Yo, y'all gotta cut it out. Cause Mrs. Color, she getting in their mode. All right? Cut that shit out. What's that late night zone? Cut that shit out, y'all right? Super. All right? All right. We had enough, thank you. No, she was. Yeah, she was that, that, like, that was kind of sweet. Even I have to, even, even the heart and judge Dana Color had to go, yeah, that's not. Nah, but it, but it, it's, it's true, though. Like, it really is true. Like, like, man, I'm just here to tell the truth. Like, All right. <laughs> like, so, so, let, let, for, so this, this homegirl, just so we're clear, this homegirl, are you having any kind of sexual relationship with her? Man, I'm just here to tell the truth. Play donos. Nigga, that your answer. Play donos. Hold on. We, we got one dono. Lord have mercy. This nigga's done. Hey He's guys. Cool. This is your Nat Geo Insider. Bringing you up to date news. Coming soon is the first FOT Awards. Official partner of MILF and Cookies. MILF and Cookies, who doesn't like a nice, warm, moist MILF? And a cookie, of course. Type cook 20 for 20% off. Nigga, no. What's my little fucking milf and cookies? All right, so, Miss Akins, are there any other women beside this homegirl that you're worried about? Yes, ma'am. All right, tell me about that. So, as I said ass, earlier, cook, we got man. engaged uh, recently. Okay. I was down, you know, helping his sister prepare for... Uh, her child's birthday party. Okay. And while I was down there, you know, I was like, hey, you know, well, um, I still feel like he's talking to his ex-girlfriend. So I said, you know, you you talk to her, you got a number. I said, call her up, you know, and, and let's kind of set her up. Let's see what she, what she, what, if she's what? still talking to him. And I recorded the conversation and nah, I submitted it to the, uh, to the court. Okay. Oh, okay. That's what we got right oh, here. Nah, you being weird. Right. What you doing that for? Let's take a listen, Mr. What the Cutler. fuck kind of skull candy at? Hey, I ain't gonna lie. 
Yo, we got to get out this league, all right? Uh-uh, uh-uh. They popped out the skull candies. We got to get out this league, bro. I'm finding another courtroom, bro. All right. Can we not hear it? Okay, what? All right, so the ex just said Mr. Bailey proposed to you on the 25th. You confirmed that. But she said he texted her, meaning Mr. Bailey texted her, that he missed her, the ex, on the 21st. So I don't believe it. I didn't hear it. This don't count, this don't count against my record. I don't believe it. Four days before he proposed to you, it. he's telling his ex he misses her? Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, come she on. She said, you real. know. All right, Mr. Bailey. Yes, ma'am. No you Facebook, just no. You proposed to Miss Akins on the 25th. Yes, ma'am. But you're telling your ex on the 21st that you miss her? Um, yes or no? Yes. He's, he's saying that shit in, like, um, in Vietnamese. Yes in Vietnamese mean, um, I don't understand the question. I mean, this is your queen. This is the one you... The champ. The cha your champ. The because one you honestly, love to hear breathe. Honestly, being honest, being honest, I was, I was, I was... I even I even told I even told Jam I would text them Google both of them at the like, same no. time and I had sent the wrong thing to her. His ex also says that Mr. Bailey Dirty texted Dirty her, Dirty. I'm in love with you. And that's three days before he proposed. I meant to send that I'm in love with you the whole. The niggas told me, Coach, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Yo, this nigga, he ain't running for one of the worst prospects of the year. We gotta see who the worst prospect of the year, bro. Matter of fact, I'm lying. The worst prospect of the year is the nigga who was texting his girlfriend pretending to be another woman. Hey, he's the worst nigga. But nigga, you up there, bro. You fucking ass. To Jasmine, but I had ended up sending her just moving too fast. And I even I even told her that though. Like I told her that, like, man. Damn. Like Miss Akins, I'm, Ms. Akins. I'm looking at the expression on your face. It's like you're seething right now. I just know he'd be lying to me. Oh. Damn. I just know he'd be lying to me. And I'm just like, I, everything oh. we've been through. Who started back there? I just had a child. We engaged. My bad. That's wrong. And I just feel like it don't mean nothing to him. For real. I just feel like it don't mean nothing to him. I, I, I wish I could come off the bench and just hug you because my Watch heart out. goes out to you. It's just it's just pain. Like, he don't understand it. Do woman right? Nah, this woman right here. Wop, this all you. This all you, bro. I, look, I'm not gonna get in your way, bro. Who am I to stop love? Who am I to stop love, bro? Now I'm talking about this woman back here, bro. I'm trying to see what she looks like, bro. I'm sorry, bro. It's just pain, cause it's like, you know, I don't do him like that, like, you know, and it's just like I feel like you taking my 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 kindness for granted. You taking me for granted. And it's just like, you know. I don't, I don't want to deal with this. Like, I, I, I deserve better, I, and I know it. Yeah. Well, that's the first step. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. You need to get to the bottom of this. You need to know. And you've said that if, in fact, it's true, he's been unfaithful, you're done. Yes, you and your baby are out. Yes, ma'am. All right, so everything is on the line, and you understand that. Yes, ma'am. Right. And in order for us to get to the truth, this court like has shit. done a full <laughs> and a complete investigation. At this time, the court will call I a certified polygraph like examiner, shit, Dave Lawrence, to determine, is he cheating? It's fucking Bobby Hill again, bro. How are you, Mr. Lawrence? Doing just fine, ma'am. How are you? We're good. Thank you for asking. It's good to see you. Yes, sir. Would you state your credentials, please, for the court? Yes, I'm a retired state police officer of 30 years. He I've been a truth, polygraph examiner for the past 26 years. No, bro. I've conducted thousands of polygraph examinations as well as taught other police officers how to be polygraph examiners. So, you asked, Mr. Bailey, since being engaged to Ms. Akins, have you had physical sexual contact with your new homegirl? What was his response to that question? Your Honor, he said yes. Uh, Mr. Bailey admitted he, that they had felt each other up and also had sex as recently as last month.
this is a I touch the ball coach ass nigga. This is a I touch the ball coach ass nigga, bro. Coach, I touch the fucking ball, bro. Coach, I touch the fucking ball, bro. Coach, I touch the fucking ball, bro. This fuck, you could have did this at home, nigga. Oh my god. Last month. Well, we finally got the truth. Honestly. Honestly. Mr. Bailey, why would you do that? Honestly, trip. You tripping. You were tripping. I was tripping. You tripped what, what? and fell in her bed? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Mr. Lawrence, you asked Mr. Bailey. Oh, God. Since being engaged to Miss Akins, have you had sexual intercourse with your ex? Well, y'all know he fucked his ex. What was his response? Your no. Honor, he said yes. Mr. Bailey admitted to having sexual intercourse with his ex just days after his engagement with Miss Aiken. L let me ask you this. Yes, ma'am. Were you able to ascertain or find out how many women he's been with sexually since he got engaged to Miss Aiken? Um, yes, Mr. Bailey, he admitted to having sex with two to three other people besides the previously admitted to sleeping with. I would beat the shit out of Alex if he was on my team, nigga. Fuck you, mean you touched the ball. Don't foul them when they inbound. Team on three. One, two, three. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, my mama, bro. It's time to talk about this, mother this motherfucking commercial. Listen, let's go back to the top just real quick. I would beat the shit out of Alex if I was on his team, bro. Let's go, let's go. Bitch, you ain't even touch it. I ain't see it. Oh, blue. Time. Time out. Great job. Great job. Look at this lame ass nigga. I touched it. I touched the ball before it went out, coach. Come on, Alex. The ref did not call that. You gotta be kidding me, Alex. It's the championship game. Talk to him, coach. I ain't on God. I'm telling you. Alex is getting beat the shit out of her, bro. I'm sorry, bro. We putting hands on this nigga. Coach. And this coach, this. he needs to be fired. Come on and do it right. Don't foul them when they inbound. Team on three. One, two, three. Do it right. How's it going, Alex? That nigga pushed this out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't approach his ass. Bro, you know how many parlays Alex fucked up that day? You know how many prize picks he fucked up? All right, coach. Alex, fuck you, Alex. Alex. Good call. Sports nah, pizza. hell no. Nah. Pass it on. Bro, nah. Hell no. Nah. Hell, I ain't gonna lie. A real ref will give you a take. Hey, a real ref. Bitch, you questioning my call? Take you out of here. Fuck Alex, all right? Now back to this bitch ass nigga. Back to this bitch ass nigga. What are you doing? Oh, 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 Tell him what you're thinking, love. I ain't got no words. Damn. I ain't got no words. That's fucked up. I can't describe the feeling. He'll never know until it's done to him. I ain't got no words for him. I really don't. Care. I can't tell you how I feel. Like, I can't tell you how I feel. It's just one of them feelings that you gotta experience to know how somebody feel to have that done to them. The I unfortunate, but the unfortunate part about it, like you saying, like he's a gotta know, he gotta go through it himself. He'll never go through it because he a he a bullshit ass nigga. Like 
When somebody do some fucked up shit like that to you, bro, honestly, bro, they never gonna feel that pain that they did to you. A hundred percent, bro. It's like, cause they just fucked up ass people. Like, so nigga, it's it's only up to you to like try to leave him alone and move forward, bro. Don't don't give him the opportunity to hurt you again, bro. Simple and plain. I have a suggestion. Get out. Those are the two yeah. words you need to say. And Mr. Bailey, I would ask you how you feel, but I don't know that I'm going to get an honest answer. I, because you'll probably tell me something like, Granny, I feel bad, I want to... Granny through it in the back. I'm not going to lie. I keep seeing Granny back here. Hey, Granny back here is going through it, nigga. She feeling all her fucking pain. I ain't want to keep commenting on her, bro. Nigga, she feeling it, bro. And Mr. Bailey, I would ask you how you feel, but I don't know that I'm going to get an honest answer. I, because you'll probably tell me something like, nigga, I feel bad. This nigga said fake crying. Nigga, are, are you a real person? Do you have a real opinion? You think this lady on here fake crying? Bro, come on, bro. I want a fresh start. I want to, you know, you know, take back what I did. All that stuff. And I'm not sure I believe nigga it. nigga laughing. Oh, because you're still out there trying to do your thing. You're still out there trying to, uh, trying to be wild and trying to trip and all that stuff. You're not ready for this relationship. Yeah. Clearly. Any relationship. Yeah. yeah. Now, you're going to have to be ready to be a father to your child because that's what you have to do. There's no choice in that. I ain't going to lie. And it's not enough to say, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. I didn't know what I was doing. I was tripping. I was wilding. That doesn't cut it anymore. I knew not to trust that nigga. You all have been married for four years. You have two children together.